Hello viewers, welcome to Linux MP. In this video, I'll show you guys how to create a new user and then give that user read only access to your log folder. So let's get started. For that, first open your terminal. Now let's create a user using the add user command. To do so, just type the command followed by the username. That is add user and then the username. Press enter. Remember to add the sudo command, the add user command, which permits admin instead privileges. As you can see, without sudo privileges, you won't be able to get a user. Try the command, sudo command before it. Press enter. Then enter the current user password. Press again. You can see the command is creating a new group. And then adding the user to that group. It is also creating a new directory for the user. At last, it is copying some files from this directory to the user's home directory to provide some basic settings for the user. After that, it is asking for the new password for the new user. So let's try setting the password. Remember to use a strong password. See, password updated successfully. After that, some basic information for the user. It is asking is the information is correct? Press Y, press yes, and press end. Now your user has been created. For the next step, let's check if we have successfully created the user or not. For that, use the getent command. Getent. And give password as an argument for the command, which will look into the database. And then pipe the output to the grep command followed by the username which will search for our username from the list that was done hit enter from the output you can see the new user info where this is the uid this is the did this is the home directory path for the new user you can see the new user info and it has been created successfully For the next step, create a group using the add group command. Creating a group and then adding the user to that group is necessary as it helps to assign read or access to the log files to the specific user of the group instead of giving access to all users on your system. So let's create a group for the type sudo add group and then the group name. Let's say logs. Press add turn. Keep the current user password. And as you can see, the group has been created. Afterward, add the user to the logs group that you have just created. Also, to keep the user any type of access permission or you need to modify files or folders, you have to add it to the sudo group as it permits administrative privileges. For that, use the user mode command. Go so, user mode. As this command modifies assigned attributes to the user, then use the command option dash A and T as it will add the user to the additional sudo and logs groups followed by the group names that is logs separated by comma sudo and then the username that is Tom. Press enter. Keep the current user password. Press enter again and your new user is now a member of the sudo and logs group. You can check that using the id command. Just type id and then the username. Press enter and you can see user is the member of this course. After that, add the log folder to that logs group too. For that, use the change group or chgrp command. sudo chgrp or change group. As the name indicates, this command changes the group to which files and folders belong, followed by the group name, that is logs. After that, type the log folder location path. Now, this is the location path of my system's log folder. Make sure to give the correct log folder location of your system. Press enter. Now, the log folder is the member of logs group. Next, set the group permissions for the log folder. As you want to keep read and access to the new user, 
and that user and the log folder both are a member of the logs group. For that, use the change mode command. This command changes access permissions for files and directories. Just type sudo change mode command. And then add the read only permission for the groups. For that, type the letter G plus R for read only. Then followed by the location path of the drive. That is fire logs. Press enter. Now the group has read only access permission for the log folder. After that, we have successfully created the user and then added user and both the log folder to a group and then added read on access for that group. Now let's verify if the new user can read the log folder. For that, switch to the new user using the show or substitute command by the login option and then the username. So let's type su login by the username that is done. Press enter. Give the new user password. And as we could see, we are inside the directory of Tom user. Now change the working directory to the log folder directory. For the type the change directory or cd command and then the folder location. Press enter. And as you can see, we are inside the log folder now. Let's see the directory contents using the list or ls command. Here we can see the list of all log files. The type ls. Press enter. You can see all the log files inside the log folder. After that, let's try to open any of them so that we can see if our new user Tom can read them using a nano editor. Then type nano and then type any of the log folder in let's try this now press up there and as you can see we are now inside the log folder log files this log with the tom user and you can see tom user can read this file but if you notice at the bottom it is saying file this log is unreadable that means Top user can read this file but cannot write on it. So it is proved that our new user has read only option for the log folder.